This is Country Rose, and I have a little story to tell you about Len Amsterdam. Here's the story in a nutshell. Len went off, promised he wouldn't speed. As usual, he didn't listen, was in a bad car crash. Friends and family visit him at the hospital. I make a public announcement on my show. Take a listen. Hey, honey, I'm going out for some Timmy's in the car with Mickey. Okay, dear, buckle up and don't speed, please. You know how you can get. <laughs> yes, dear, I won't speed. And I'll put on my seatbelt. <laughs> Hello, Amsterdam residents. Bonjour, Angelique. This is Dr. Sentiment. I was in the hospital uh, when a few minutes ago I received a page to go to the emergency room. That darn man of yours did it again. What do you mean? Are you talking about Len? Dear, do you have another man I don't know about? Oh, sorry. This call has me rattled. Well, Angelique, you better get yourself to the hospital or Len cracked his car again and possibly his noggin. But Mickey will be fine. He's just got a couple of scratches his head Len gave him as he was trying to get out of the car. Oh, that son of a gun. I told him not to speed. I'll be right there. Where do you think you're going, ma'am? Dr. Sentiment just called and said, I've got to get here. My man's been in an accident. Please, where is that man of mine? Oh, sorry. His name's Len Amsterdam. Yeah, they just dropped him off. He's behind the fourth curtain over there. Hello, yes, this is Len Amsterdam's phone. Who's this? Oh, Rose, it's you. No, you can't talk to him. He's been in a bad car accident. Yeah, I guess he was speeding again. What? I don't know. Yeah, he's real bad. Thanks, Rose. No, I wasn't with him. Mickey was. Yeah, you can come over after your show. Folks, I've got to interrupt my show. There's been a real bad accident on the 295. Lent Amsterdam was involved and he was with a friend. He's really going to need a lot of your prayers to make it through this one. I know there's a lot of loyal fans out there that really like Len, so please keep Len in your thoughts. I'm just devastated. I am sorry, but I have got to go to the hospital. Talk to you all when I get back and I have more information. Oh, Rose, so glad to see you. Thanks for coming. I don't know what I'm going to do if that man of mine guys <laughs> oh gosh now I've seen it all Angelique he's gotta be faking it this time it's different Rose stop poking him Angelique I didn't hurt him he's faking he'll get up in a moment what you watch I don't know how you stayed married to him anyway he's always joking Angelique I came as soon as I heard oh no not Len Please, please tell me he's going to be all right. Who's going to ask me about the Beatles now? Oh, man, he looks bad. Hey, only one visitor can be in here. Can't you see this man's dying? Nurse, get out now. You can't talk to this dying man's family and friends like that. Whatever happened to treating the dying guy's family with respect? Hmm, I never. <clears throat> I, I just can't deal with this. I gotta go. Oh, gosh, now I've seen it all. Listen, Rose, he's about ready to croak. He ain't faking this is the real deal i just called his priest i got here as fast as i could i just got done saying mass Ooh, i'm beat father dementia father dementia oh i am so glad you are here look what len has gone and done to himself i see that okay can you all please leave the room it's len's time right now in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, please, Lord, have pity on this man. Yes, I know he wasn't always the nicest person, and he could be a downright jerk. But can you find it in your heart to forgive this poor soul? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Angelique, we gotta pull the plug. The time has come to let that sucker go. Dr. Sentiment, I have to say a couple of things first. Len, oh Len, Len, 
save me a place if you go to heaven. But if you go to the other place, I don't want to go. Hey, hey, hey! It's past visiting hours. You all have to go. This hospital's got rules that's got to be followed. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey! Man, what are you trying to do? You can't go in there. Look, get out of my way. I'm going in there. My buddy Lynn Amsterdam was just in an accident, and I'm going in that room. You can't stop me. Oh, that guy. Sorry, he's gone. We got our evening hours. You gotta go. Oh, man. Good old Lynn. Always got to get the last word in. Even now. <laughs> It's with sadness today to let you know that our beloved Len Amsterdam died last night. His family and friends are just devastated. For those listeners who would like to go to the funeral, it will be held at Mount Rushmore Funeral Parlor in Ontario, Canada. I would like to dedicate this segment to Len Amsterdam. <laughs> if you're on the web, I know the place you should go. It's called the Land Amsterdam Radio Show. Uh, hey, Ken sure knows how to throw a party, eh? Cause bump, cause bump, cause bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is fun, I gotta tell you. Hey, this is uh, Len Amsterdam from Canada, and I would like to make an official announcement. Uh, Country Rose has been inducted into the Len Amsterdam Hall of Fame. <laughs> It's Len Amsterdam from Canada. Just like to share a little excerpt from uh, our resident comedian on the uh, Len uh, message board, uh, Mr. Cliff Hitchcock. The bullets wrote, did you know Lenny studied medicine? This is an excerpt from a term paper he did at Quacks Medical College. Lenny's uh, top 10 medical terms. Number one, artery, study of paintings. Hi everybody, this is Cliff from the bullet. Pick up your copy of Country in the Cavern. You know, if we ever all got together, we'd... But anyway, I'm going to tell you that I want professional MCs, MC and chosen. And there's a very professional MC in here named Lynn Amsterdam. Hey, little sister Jones. Hey, little sister Jones. This is aroma. That's right. Aroma. Uh, that ain't. That ain't. We ain't talking about Rome. We talking about the smell of uh, all them ribs and brisket. Get her done. Hi everyone. It's Shelly from Red River. The Cavern Monkeys are glad all over. This is DJ Happy. Hey DJ. This is Lan Amsterdam from Canada calling in to do an exclusive interview for the Country Rose radio show. I'm sorry, Len, but Country Rose has become a big star and won't have time for you today and has me filling in. Well, okay. Um, what are your questions for the great Len Amsterdam? Do you have an inner or an outie? Well, very exclusive, I might add. Vicky, can you tell me how you feel about being on my show? Yeah! This is Farrell D. Rand, and you're listening to Country Roses, Len Amsterdam, Country Edition. There I blow. Now, it's got nothing to do with having a meal, because, uh, you know, like anybody of my generation, you still can't take the country music on a full stomach. Huh? Oh. I'd like to tell you about a new featured event. Texas Nightlife will be hosting... Hi there, this is Joe Raybeck. Hi, this is Beth Davidson. Hi, this is Country Jim Palmer from the heart of Central Maine. <laughs> Mariah Martin. Yeehaw! Hey, did you hear about the time that Lynn Amsterdam was tending bar in St. Bullets? Hi there, and I've been on Shed Snow Woman, so I'll have this, and so are we, uh, ha-he, ha-he, uh, whoa, dude, that Canadian bacon I just ate made me talk funny. Mmm, I need a beer. <laughs> The Beatles recorded uh, 214 songs from 1962 to 
We have a special guest here today by the name of David Daniel Beckham, who has something to share with you I believe you will all need to hear. It's a recording that was done a while back that he brought with him, we think, is very appropriate. Thanks so much for stopping in. Thanks for having me, Rose. It's a pleasure to be on your show this morning. Take a listen. Good evening, everyone. This is David Daniel Beckham welcoming you to This Is Your Life, Lynn Amsterdam. As you know, our show usually runs an hour. Unfortunately, this show is going to be considerably shorter, as we could find no one to say anything good about Lynn. This could be explained by the fact that Lynn is older than dirt and has outlived anyone who would speak on his behalf. We did find his high school principal, Mr. Phineas Flathead, who after some arm twisting decided to say a few words about Lynn. Mr. Flathead, what was your first impression of Lynn when you met him? The first thing I noticed about Lynn is that his jokes are horrible. Many of us decided that we would run him through school as quickly as possible, not bothering with such things as grades, so we would not have to hear those horrible puns of his. This went well until his senior year when he told people he had decided to go into radio. We knew that this was something that could not be unleashed on the world, but Lynn, hearing ahead of time about our plans to expel him, ran away and set his evil plan in motion. Mr. Flathead went on to speak of a song that had been written about Lynn, and though through the magic of internet radio, we have managed to recreate this song. We hope that this will show you how to avoid Lynn Amsterdam and the merciless puns he throws at you. So take it away, Mr. Flathead. He tells jokes that make most people sick The material's thin and when he's off the thick But people listen just so he won't whine If you give him time, he'll cross the line Everyone in his senior class started to pull How long he'd last before he starts to I never thought that words could be a crime If you give him time, he'll cross the line As sure as sun does shine and Lynn shoots the moon When sonality hits, it won't be a day too soon No more jokes about the gas to pass We gave him time but he crossed the line. Up to this point, everything has been hectic. The doctor more than blunt. The hospital staff in itself could stand more lessons in humanity. Friends and family are confused with their feelings. Part of them miss Len dearly, but another part of them saying why he was such a pain and a big baby. But they think again, and they are just as confused in their thinking. Let's listen in at the funeral. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to watch our own Len Amsterdam go down five feet under. It would have cost another 50 bucks to dig the other foot. He was a man of many talents. His greatest talent was the ability to bring forth life from some of our dead songs. I want to thank you all for being here to watch him go. Oh, Holy Father, we beseech thee to take Len away and take some of those songs with him forever and ever and ever. Amen. And now, who amongst you would like to say a few words and throw some dirt around? It's with sadness I'm standing in front of all of you today. Angelique, I am so sorry for your loss. Len had his good moments, and of course he had his bad moments. He had a way of moving so quickly from topic to topic and project to project. Go figure, he'd go this way. By the edge of his seat, yup, I will miss this firecracker called Len Amsterdam. Greetings, friends. This is Twist from t Wisted Fock and the Rockin' Bill Hillies and also the uh, Wild Man in Tasmania show. I'm just still shocked. Don't know what to say speechless don't really know <laughs> i just can't believe what's going on here um i've worked with len numerous times i don't know i'm thinking i'm just a little bit too too cracked up to, to really say anything more but i just don't believe this is really going on thank you y'all be cool i'll always remember when len would post embarrassing red river pictures and then i'd have to threaten him and send the wolf after him and he'd get all scared ah uh, good times Oh, Len, it'll be a ghost town here without you. Cool, right? Heh, Shelley. I'll miss that sweet Canadian accent. We all will, eh? 
As I'm sitting here watching the events unfold at Len's funeral, it amazes me how many people came. I see Rick Bone, Shelley from Red River, Scott Rose, Twisted, Ken from Texas Nightlife is also here. Wow, I see the elusive Vicki Lee, of course, crying like a big baby. She always, always, always cries at a drop of a pin. Clay Pierce, holy cow, even Jerry Mack is here. The funny part about it all is the media. They're all here. <laughs> the thing, Len wanted the most and he ain't here. Oh, sorry. I see I'm not paying attention to what's happening. Shh. Let's listen. Mo, Lynn's always pulling this kind of sh sh stunts, stunts, man. He just, he's just always doing that. Except this time, I, look, I smelled the car, and he went to Amsterdam a little one too many times, if you know what I mean. He got it into himself. It's this fresh country air that will do it every time. Well, I met Lynn a few times online over Pal Talk. I must say, for a fellow who sure liked to talk a lot, he never was heard much over there at Pal Talk. I guess it was his deficiency in computer literacy <coughs> which held him back. But I suppose what I'll miss most is an opportunity to have have become a member of Lynn Amsterdam's legendary Hall of Fame. But all is not lost, for I see an opportunity for Joe Rayback and myself to once again collaborate on a great song entitled The Legend of Lynn. As we all know, Joe loves writing about dead things. I've only knew uh, Len for a few months now. Uh, he's been sort of a mentor to me and shown me a lot about uh, SoundClick, SongCast. All the time he's uh, been helping me out, he's been quite a pain in the... <laughs> We've been involved in a group called the Cavern Monkeys, an unruly lot uh, who uh, causes a lot of problems. Len's authority did little to curtail their uh, antics. Although we shall miss Len, I think the people at SoundClick will welcome the relief. He did tend to uh, enjoy the large picture postings and insane battering on the SoundClick forum. Uh, Len always had numerous projects going on. None of us really knew what we were supposed to do. Uh, he'd, he'd ask for this and ask for that. And before we even got that done, he'd ask for something else. <laughs> got a little confusing at times. Len was a good guy. I enjoyed many uh, a talk with him. I'm happy to call him my friend. Dearly beloved friends and neighbors and fellow cavern monks. We're here today to lay to rest a dear friend and a true giant of the internet music business. What's his name? Oh, Ken Amsterdam. What? Oh, Len Amsterdam. Yes, Len's accomplishments are just too many to mention, so I won't bore you with all that drivel. I will say that this tremendous showing of affection would surely warm Ken's Len's heart if he could be here today. But he's not. That's that, and let's get her done. You know, I've known Len longer than I care to admit. But what do we really know about somebody? I mean, how could I possibly know he was a closet death metal DJ and a founding member of the Boy George fan club? <sighs> Man, I know he's from Canada, but still, must be those long cold winter nights up there. And who would have guessed he had an autographed copy of Where's the Dress by Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley? Not me, for sure. Oh, well, like I said, do we really know the person in this life? Obviously not. Oh, well, at least we found out, huh? Get her done. Now, there is going to be a wake following today's services, featuring the Bullets, Red River, Rick Bone, and Valerie Lynn. Also, Bubba's rent a casket and used car emporium, they'll be there to hand out coupons and to collect the casket after we dump Lynn in the hole. And now, without further ado, y'all get her done and dump this guy so I can get my deposit back. Like I said, guys, get her done. Oh my god. Len, is that you? No, it's impossible. It's impossible. Len, I'm not sure. Am I dreaming? Is that you? I am DJ. Sent from the depths of hell. Wipe out this plague called country music. That goody two-shoes country rose makes me me sick. What's up with those main moments? They drive me nuts. Such drivel. And that old geezer Jerry Mack with his I'll tip my country hat to you all makes me puke. I have joined forces with the wild man from Brisbane. Or is it wild man from Tasmania? I don't know. The guy's such a flake. But together we will complete our evil deed and bring down the country music. And here's a word to that Ken O'Shine with his gear done. You say that one more time and I'm going to kick your ass. Okay, dig a little death metal for you all. Oh, 
Lynn. Huh? Oh, whoa. What's going on? Oh, Rose. Thank you so much, Rose, for uh, waking me up out of that awful nightmare. Lynn Amsterdam was no longer playing country music. Uh, the, the world just flipped right out. You know, this has got a lot to do with that uh, Scott Rose CD release party. Mr. Rose bringing on that uh, cheap homebrew and uh, that uh, lousy chop suey from uh, Mr. Charles. You want me to fire that guy when I get down to the station? I'll tumble for you. I'll tumble for you. Oh, I didn't realize I was on. So, Len Amsterdam from Canada, alive and well, and those reports of my early demise were much exaggerated. The Death of Len Amsterdam, a radio play by Country Rose, uh, was an absolute masterpiece. The cast of characters included Country Rose as Country Rose. Michelle Anderson as Angelique Amsterdam, T. Wisted Falk as Doc, Morris P. Rainville as Father Dementia, Scott Rose as Scott Rose, Rick Bone as Beetle Rick, David Daniel Beckham as himself and Phineas Flathead, DJ Happy, Texas Night Life as himself, The Lone Ranger as a security guard, and the one and only Len Amsterdam, heard and seen worldwide for a long time to come. Let's give it up for our main gal, Country Rose.